E too late. Just about got left. And, and look, he back there mad too. Look, look at him. He back there. Look, look, look my son flicking me off. But look, look okay. uh, Mr. Bus Driver, you were about to leave us, weren't you? Look, he like, look. I don't care who you are. This bus is leaving to go to the stars. I, I'm telling you, I'm like, but anyway, my man here is like, hey man, where'd you get that voodoo doll at? So that gave me the opportunity to go ahead and tell the story. Um, I was in New Orleans in like 2012 and I got a couple little voodoo trinkets, right? So I took them to Redskin Park and I put them outside there because I was trying to hex the Redskins. So this Eagle fan said, you know what? The Cowboys suck so bad that not even Joe Boo from Major League could help him. So I ended up carving the head right there and making a body and just start taking it to places, NFL games and stadiums and stuff, and taking pictures of it. And so people have one or two reactions. They see an old guy taking pictures of a voodoo doll on the ground, you think you're crazy as hell, and they go around you and give a wide berth, and they say, what you doing? <laughs> and I say, it's Cowboy Joe Boo. And he's here to spread some mojo for the Dallas Cowboys. And now that you've asked, you are now part of the story. Now you Okay, so, you asked, and now you are part of the story, so I have to take your picture with you. And so, literally, there are thousands of pictures oh of people who have now had their picture oh taken God. with Cowboy Joe Boo. Here, here. Take a now, picture of us with, with the What's interesting is, no. on uh, Facebook, I have a couple of different Facebook pages. One of them is called The Power of Four, which is for Dak Prescott. Uh -huh. And we took a shirt called The Power of Four, and we got fans to autograph it across the country. And we presented it to Dak Prescott. And that's actually the cover picture of it. Really? Yeah. Now, see, I can't say that he has any good luck or anything to it, but strange things have happened because of Joe or, or around Joe Boo. Charles Haley had applied, or, you know, was supposed to be a Hall of Famer, right? Six times he was denied. I wrote a blog about Charles Haley and uh, things like that. He changed his profile picture to Joe Boo, and he got in that year. And to this day, Charles Haley's profile picture is Joe Boo. Really? In 2014, we recreated the scene of it's very bad to steal Joe Boo's rum in Tony Romo's locker. 2014. Seriously. Y'all are hilarious. Um, oh my God. We took him to New York 2012. Ooh. It was the first game that we went to, which was after the Giants won the Super Bowl. We won that game. Really? We took him to New York Giants training camp because we were doing a photo shoot for United Way there and had Joe Boo there. We photobombed Victor Cruz. Victor Cruz is about this close to him. He ain't doing no more salsa dance. <laughs> These are all true things. And he's literally banned from the New York Giants facilities. The next year when we went back there, like, you got that Buddha doll? I said, yeah, he's not allowed to come in. Really? Would I lie? Would I lie? So he's literally been around the NFL, every wow. NFL city. The story of Joe. The story of Joe. And now you're part of the story. Okay. And we are headed to the star right now uh, to finally get our tour and uh, hopefully spread some mojo. So we're here with Cowboys Experience and E2 Late back there mad. <laughs> it's going to be a long 20 hour drive back to Virginia. I can tell you that because they both pissed at me. But hey, that's how we roll. I'm Mark Holmes and well, we're headed to the star.